Seekers, hi YouTube, it's Chi Chi again from Supple Chic and today's video is going to be my most worn item of 2019 of 2018. And I really realized that these videos were supposed to have been shot like in the and edited in the month of January but January was a funny month for me so I'm still gonna get this content out to you guys because I feel like it's valuable. Please let me know in the comments below if you like more videos like this where I kind of talk through my wardrobe. Now, if this is your first time seeing my face, hi, I'm Chi Chi, and this is my channel. On this channel, you can expect um, styling videos, hauls, lookbooks, and lifestyle content like vlogs. Now, if that sounds like something you're into, then please consider subscribing down below. All right, now that we've gotten, you know, the schmizzle out the way, let's get into my most worn items of 2018. I've had this jacket now at least for a year and a half, if not two. It's from one of my favorite brands, Eloqui. And I just love, love, love the fit of this jacket, the cut, the length, you know, everything about it, this extra little bikery bit, belt bit at the bottom. One thing I love about Eloquy is that they always have jackets, biker jackets, in our size and in a variety of colors. Anyway, I really love this jacket because it pairs really well with neutrals, but the color looks works really, really well for our complexion and it just kind of sets off an outfit. So. I'm pretty sure I've worn this jacket more times than I can count. I actually even had it on in the sweater lookbook, which um, I will link down below for you. Okay. Continuing on with that mustardy theme, the next item that was actually a late addition in 2018 are these snake skin flats. I wear these flats to work and I can't tell you how many times I've gotten DMs and questions about flats and flats for work and things like that. So what I'm gonna do, um, and I'm sure by the time this video was up I've already done it, I'm going to do a roundup of my favorite flats um, on the, either on the shop the look portion of my blog or on the like to know it app. So. Again, check the description bar down below for that. But I picked up this these flats from ASOS. They were so inexpensive. We all know that snakeskin was a huge trend for um, fall and winter 18. So when I saw this and I saw that it had like hints of orange and mustard, as you guys can see, and then it has this neutral beige color and black. This is my entire wardrobe. And then it has hints of like burgundy. I mean, I, I was just floored. Also it was really 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 inexpensive like I think I got it for like $18 definitely an item I wore to death in the fall like I'm gonna show y'all see that yeah so um ASOS is definitely a great place to find flats fun funky flats um if you have to wear flats for work because I wear flats for work I'm a teacher I'm not wearing heels and they also go up to uh extended sizes next item that I wore in the fall and I have worn a lot since I got it is are these Chelsea boots. These are leather Chelsea boots. I picked them up from Nordstrom and they are the Mark Fisher brand. Now they were a little bit of a splurge. I know my ladies here love a good bargain. These were over a hundred dollars and I've worn the heck out of them. To me they are a closet must have absolute staple and because I went ahead and invested in some leather one they you know they look more expensive and more rich and kind of give my outfit style points but two they are really 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 durable and they also molded to my feet beautifully okay and i got these in my true size which well i was gonna say my true size size 11 but i'm like a 10 and a half wide you know um but yeah i love these i highly highly recommend them. I, I really go for pointy toe when it comes to boots 
pretty much any pair of shoes because they help to elongate the leg. Uh, Moving on to, well, this is like an in-between piece. But the next couple of items after this one that I show you will be summer stuff. So the next item is probably going to be my most worn pair of jeans in 2018. And they were an, an affordable pair and they were the um, universal thread mom or straight leg jeans. I think they're straight leg jeans. I have two pairs of these jeans. One that I paid full price for and one that I bought on clearance because I love these jeans so much. Why I love these jeans so much is that they have, when you first wash them, let me be real, when you first wash them, they have that stiffness like that a Levi, you know, a vintage Levi would have. But they also have some stretch. So as you wear them in, they kind of like conform to your body. But unfortunately, after a while, they do get kind of loose. But besides that, for the price, the, I think the original one was around 30 and then the one I got on clearance was like eight bucks. But like for the price, I mean, they worked really, really hard on the fit, on the cut of these. The only thing I don't like about them is I know that what they were trying to do with the whiskering, but you know, they, they missed the mark by a teensy bit in my opinion. Aside from that though, I love everything about these jeans. I love everything about the cut. I love the price. I love, I just, can I say love? So the next item that I absolutely loved as well in 2018 were white sneakers. Now I have several different pairs. It depends on what I'm wearing. I have like an espadrille version, like a basic black plum, 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 plum soles. You know what I'm saying. Um, and then I also have these. These are my like latest ones. These technically aren't white, but these are also like the nicest, cleanest looking ones. So that's why I'm showing them to you. And these are my Air Maxes. So these kind of have, they're, I think they're an ecru, but they have a greenish tint to them. And I wore these during fashion week. I love me a pair of white sneakers. They just go with everything. And since you know comfort is king in supple chic land, in my land, okay? White sneakers have just been a god scent. So let's talk about some accessories, shall we? Um, so I had, if I had to give an award to my most worn bag in 2019, definitely my most worn bag on social media, it would be this bag. Uh, this is my red bucket bag from Topshop. Y'all, when I say I fell hard for this bag, I fell hard. It was the best $50 I ever spent. And I'm still looking for a version of this bag in black. I just love the top handle. I don't know why, but I just like divorced long straps in 2018. I was like, I don't want anything with long strap. I want to be able to hold everything with my hands like this, really dainty and cute because it reminds me of being, you know, in or at the Riviera like I've ever been, okay? But anyways, I just adore this bag and it went with so much in my wardrobe, more than I envisioned when I got it. It has, again, this top handle. It's just a very structured bag and I've packed this several times and although it has like maybe tiny little indentations, it's pretty durable, I might, I have to say. I would say 2018 was definitely the year of like structured bags and this was the bay of my closet. Someone else also asked me to do a haul for bags, but to be quite honest, I am super picky, like super picky when it comes to bags. I have an eye for designer bags. My bank account has a different eye. So I, I really, really don't buy a lot of bags because I'm very, very picky about, you know, the quality, the hardware, the leather. So that's why this bag is big. What I will do is I may kind of do like a roundup again, either on the um, shop the looks portion of my blog or on the like to know it app. So if you're not following me on the like to know it app, I will leave instructions in the description bar about how to follow me on the like to know it app. If you already um, 
if you already have the like to know app just search supple chic and i will pop right up so another bag that i was also loving in 2018 another style of bag was definitely these wooden earthy straw structured bags i had a little bit of a problem with these i bought more than was probably legal when he came to this style of bag and out of all of them I kind of interchanged how I wore them but out of all of them I would say this was the most wearable one which is why I'm showing you guys this because it has a strap the rest of them don't have straps they're all handheld I absolutely adored these I don't think these sort of like earthy and wooden um, bag styles are going anywhere I think we're gonna still see a lot of it in 20 19 but I, I don't think i'm really going to invest anymore but that's what i'm saying now so don't quote me on it i think what's coming up i'm seeing a lot of are like the the ones that are made out of like the beads or the balls all right so the last two pairs of shoes i'm going to be sharing were also my most worn from the summer the first pair definitely that i got a whole lot of use out of were these slides so these were like dupes for the hermes orange slides i actually even did a look for less on these on my blog i do a series that's called look for less where i find dupes for luxury pieces so if you like that kind of stuff you want to be able to rock what your celebrities wear and what the fashionistas wear but you want a budget then definitely check out the look for less um section of my blog but anyways i had spotted the um, hermes orange slides a year before on some of my favorite fashionistas honestly some of my favorite fashionistas live in europe i just feel like in europe they get the trends first and they they're they're more willing to try trends first versus like in the united states the only exceptions would probably be like new york and la i digress so i saw this a year the, the year before and of course i was not trying to spend 700 dollars um but yeah these are not the they're not the cheapest either these were about maybe 80 bucks and i would definitely say these were totally worth it so i do love these um and because they were neutral they went for pretty much anything i wanted to wear them with. and then the next pair of shoes literally every time i wore these i would get messages dms from people everybody wanted to know where these are from and they were from asos i got them in the wide width from asos that's one thing i love about asos they do have a nice selection of wide width and i say wide width because like if you have like really wide feet don't even bother you know don't even bother if you have a little bit of chunk because you're a little chubby then yes their wide widths will work for you but it's nothing spectacular to me their wide width is my regular width <laughs> anyways um i don't know who i saw sandals like this on i, I think actually i know it's karen brit chick she actually has a youtube channel here so yeah i picked these up and they're so simple like they're just so simple but the way like the leather rope wraps around your leg if you can wrap it around it's such a sexy way they make your foot look like ultra lean and long because it's so minimal it just has this little strap bits here and this part that goes around your toe and it just looks it just looks good it looks opulent okay <laughs> okay y'all i don't know <laughs> the last item are actually a pair of sunglasses which i cannot seem to locate the cons of being a blogger is that when you batch shoot you pack all your stuff and sometimes i pack stuff and i have no clue like no clue at all where i put them but they are my quay aviators i believe they're called the jezebels don't quote me on it. I will put a link to them in the description bar down below. And I will try and put a link to all of the items or to similar items to all the items I mentioned in this video. None of these items are new. But of course, I've seen a mustard jacket on the misguided website. So I'll, I'll link that down below if it's still available. Target still, the universal thread line still sells the straight leg jeans. So I'll put that link. So yeah, I will try and find links to similar items for you guys. And all of that will be down below. So if you love hauls and uh, video talk through videos like this, make sure to check the description bar down below for all of my playlists. It's all linked or will be linked either above my head or down below. Just, you know, do a little navigation. Right off the top of your head, 
let me know in the comments what your most worn item of 2018 was. If you like this video, share it with a friend. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. I don't know if it's the 20s when they did the silky dresses, but it is this gorgeous, ruffled,